Hello, my name is Matias Cavalli, the world guys to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about Captain Britain and the MI-13. Fantastic series. I really do recommend you guys read it. Even though the last story arc was with Dracula. I really hate Dracula and comic book stories. But um, in this first issue, if first four issues that we're going to cover, they're tie-ins into the Secret Invasion. They're, uh, they're a really good tie-in. Um, they're trying to move away uh, Captain Britain from the X-Men side and the mutant side of the Marvel Universe. Uh, from Excalibur. Excalibur prior to this was cancelled after the crossover with the Exiles. We get this new series where we have Captain Britain trying to defend um, Homeland from the Scroll Invasion. We have Pete Wisdom, Black Knight. Um, the angle that they're going for is really cool because in each one of these tie-ins into the Secret Invasion, uh, the heroes have to deal with like Hercules fights against those Scroll gods. The X-Men have to deal with the scroll religion. X-Factor uh, have to deal with the scroll superstitions. And here we have the scrolls wanting to get their hands on the magic of Earth, trying to block humans. So obviously they're going to try to attack Great Britain because the ties of Great Britain with Otherworld and Avalon and so on and so forth. So we start off the story with Captain Britain fighting against these super scrolls, Black Knight fighting on the streets, this character called Fiza who is going to be like this really important character as the series progresses. Um, so when our heroes realize that the scrolls are after the magic, Captain Britain wants to um, make sure they don't get, are able to get into the, and invade Avalon and other world. So they rush to the, the Siege Perilous. I want to say Polybius, but no, it's Siege Perilous. And when Captain Britain arrives, actually what the scrolls do is destroy the siege, the portal, he ends up being killed because the scrolls actually made a back door. So humans are blocked from reaching another world and accessing magic, but the scrolls have started their invasion. So she gets zapped and for some weird, weird reason has these uh, weird um, matter manipulation powers or that she can manipulate organic matter. No, uh, all types of matter here. Uh, that looks really cool. Very well explained how she got th these powers in the first place. So what happens is Pete Wisdom and company are able to get their way into uh, other world, and something really cool happens while the scrolls are trying to take over other world. Pete Wisdom does something pretty heavy. He actually liberates all the demons that w were captured over the years and makes a deal with them, especially with Saintanish. He says, "I let you guys go. Deal with deal with the scrolls, and we'll hunt you guys down later." But. Uh, <laughs> Shows off how pragmatic Pete Wisdom is. The only thing that really I really didn't like about this is that they liberate um, Merlin. Merlin was the big villain in the crossover between Excalibur and Exiles. Here he's back to being the good Merlin, even though he's like a straight up asshole in that story. He tells us that because he was stabbed by the Fury at one moment, that he was able to purge all of his evil through what was left of the Fury within the system. Now he's the good guy, but. With Merlin back, he brings Captain Britain back to life. It's really cool. All these Union Jacks start flying off the flagpoles, and we get this new version of Captain Britain. That the design of the costume actually looks really cool. So obviously, all our heroes combine forces. Captain Britain and the MI13 are able to come out on top and defeat the Skull Invasion. So I'm gonna leave this video here. It's this is again a really good series. It's a lot of fun. I love to see how because. What Pete Wisdom does, does liberating all these villain, um, demons, leads to the main focus of the series that our heroes are going to have to hunt down all these demons and deal with these guys because obviously that was a really complicated and stupid move. So, see you guys next time. Bye.